Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we've been spoiled over the last couple of months from Microsoft with new additions to SharePoint pages and how we can style them. We have our custom fonts, we have custom section background images, and just recently we've got the ability to remove the default page header, which to be honest, I think is well overdue because I never really liked it all that much anyway and always came up with ways to get around it. But that's the thing of the past. We can now remove it all together and take page header design into our own hands. So for this video, I thought what we might do is we might take one of the pages that we built in a previous video and we might give it the old pimp my ride treatment and turn it into something a little bit more spicy. So we're going to go from this and transform it into something like this. And I'm going to take you along step by step and we'll build it together. I hope you can contain your excitement for the next 20 minutes or so. So with all that being said, let's get into it. This video is sponsored well by me and the SharePoint Internet Site Builder Masterclass. This is a course that I've put together for anybody who has inherited an existing internet site or indeed wants to build a brand new department internet site. The course focuses on the most common requirements I see again and again in the internets that I build and it acts as a step-by-step -step guide on how to create. Them. There's a big focus on user experience within this course and I've designed it so you don't have to be a techie to to take it. This course is aimed at any business user who wants to up their game within SharePoint. So if you're interested, there's a link below along with a tasty discount to get you going. Now back to the video. Okay, so here we have our page. This is what we built in the previous video and this is our starting point for this. So the page looks fine, okay, it's great. But like I said, what we want to do is we want to turn it into this. And what makes this possible is all the new features that have been rolled out over the last month or two. So let's have a look at them, okay? So the first thing we'll do is let's make a copy of this page so we have a new place to start from. So we'll just give it a name of policies page two. And that's fine. And this really only counts now towards our URL since we're going to change this all together. The first thing we'll look at is we'll just remove this section altogether. Now this is really new functionality. Well, at the time of recording anyway. So you might not have this option just yet, but it's going to make its way to your tenant very soon. Don't worry about that. So it's very simple. So what we can do now is we can come over here if we select this section and we have the little delete section. So now we just get rid of it. And now just like that we don't have that annoying page header but we need to replace it with something so what we'll do now is we'll add in a new section this will act like our page header now if we come over to the site that we're building this is actually a two column section so we're going to have a column here which is going to contain the page title and also you know a little bit of a bump about the page and then on the right hand side we've got a nice area here where we can put in an image now the challenge for you is to choose a more inappropriate image than i've chosen so what we'll do is we'll come over here to add a section and we'll add in two columns okay and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to edit section and i want to put a background section in here so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to go to add a background i'm going to go to stock images and i'm just going to type in abstract right just to give me something that's there in the background and in my example i think it was this one yep yeah, it was this image here so i'm going to select it and i'm going to say insert okay now that comes in and we don't see a whole lot of it at the moment but that's because we've not added in any content so we'll address that in a second but what i will do is over here i'm going to go to more settings and i'm going to reduce the opacity to zero for the moment and we might change in a few minutes but we'll get there so the next thing i want to do is i want to add in my new page title so i'm going to hover over here hit the plus icon and i'm going to have text okay and we're going to call this page all our policies so it comes in like this but let's make it a bit fancier so we're going to highlight this text and you may not have noticed right but if you can actually click here and now i can type in any value i want previously we had to pick a set value from the drop down but again not anymore so we might want something that's maybe between 42 and 68 so let's say 56 nice and big like that now if you choose a heading instead of normal text okay you're going to get a much stronger bold when we come in here so i'm going to drop that down again and i'm going to say 56 because for some reason it changed and we get this nice strong title here okay so i'll drop that down again and then i will go to my normal text but we'll set it to 18 and we'll just copy in my snappy little intro and we'll paste it in here um, and then what we want to do is i'm going to add an image in over here so i'm going to say add an image web part put it in here so i'm going to choose an image and i've got this image prepared which is a guy chilling out that looks something like this now these uh, illustrations and things like that you can get these online in many different places i actually got these images from a site called ls.graphics i believe it's called it's a subscription kind of thing you can sign up and get some assets that are handy to have lying around 
Um, so I'm going to say upload. I'm going to add the image. And now we have our guy chilling on top of the background. So now what I might do is I might just bring this text down a little bit so it's more in line with our fella chilling here, okay? So I'm going to go to add web part and I'm going to put in a spacer web part. And this web part lets you add in space uh, vertically. You just click and drag and you can put it wherever you want. So I'm going to put that there and that looks pretty good. And then we can just save as draft or save and close as they now call it to see what we have. So this looks pretty good, okay? So we're going to actually do a little bit more treatment to the background of this. But before we do that, we're going to add in our background down here, okay? And the idea here is I want this area and this area to almost appear seamless, like they're the same section, right? But we have a different layout in either. So this is two columns and this is a one third left. So if we look over here, you can kind of see that it seems to blend in together because we have a predominantly black background here and then what we can do is we can add a gradient from bottom to top here um, and increase black so that it kind of fades into it and it looks like one section which is pretty handy so what we'll do in here we'll come back and edit the page i'll select this section and get my options out here and under more settings i'm going to select the gradient okay the dark gradient and instead of top to bottom i'm going to say bottom to top and increase the opacity all the way to 100 okay and that means the very bottom part of this section is going to be jet black and that means that if i have another section down here that's black it's going to work great so to demonstrate before I put the actual image in here what i can do is i can select this section get its settings here okay and i can choose any of these backgrounds that we have here um so i say i wanted this one and if i want this just to be black select the color overlay as black and increase that all the way up and if i save that you see here that it's kind of seamless right and you could leave it at this if you wanted to but i think this is a nice effect so you can basically choose any background image you want for the top part okay and as long as you do a gradient bottom to top of black and 100 percent opacity it means if you have a black section down here they're going to blend together really nice but we're going to take it a step further and we're going to add in our custom background here that's black that has more characters in this style so you know me i love playing in figma so let's go over to figma so this is the background i created in figma now i've been playing around with different size images and things like that and for me i'm finding a sweet spot is in and around a frame with a width of 6120 and a height of 1540 it seems to work pretty Pretty nice so if you want to do something like this from scratch yourself all you do is you come down here and create a frame drag it to anywhere you want and then just type those dimensions into the width and height so for our width we want 6120 and our height is going to be 1540 and then what we can do is we can change the fill okay we can change that to black so drag this all the way down here and now you can kind of put any image you want in here on top of it okay so again i have my character images from ls graphics all i do is get the file and i drag it on top and position so for me i have these images here i'm just going to select them all and i'm going to drag them in here and they come in huge so all we do is we select each of them uh, and we pull them down and make them smaller something to suit so we can have this guy who's over here we can have this girl who's here this girl who's over here and then this guy who's over here so you know look you're not going to use this exact same thing so i won't spend too much time on it but just know that's how i did it and you can do the exact same so when you're happy you select your frame and then you click export and export frame and save it as whatever you want wherever you want so that you can upload it to sharepoint so once we've done that we can come back into sharepoint and add it to our section so back in here we're going to put the page back into edit mode select our section hit the edit and now we're going to say change background and there's a couple of tips with this so we'll say section background to upload that's the one we created say add image so it comes in here like this and by default there's some settings applied to it right so if we say more settings in here okay what we have is they have a gradient applied to it already so we could drop that right down right but you're going to lose well depending on what image you create right you're going to lose some of the contrast here and this is going to be hard to read so what we can do is we can actually put in the gradient again and we can go from top to bottom or bottom to top i'm going to say bottom to top and i'm going to increase this all the way and i'll actually take this out of here um, and now we have the gradient in here which makes it a bit more usable i might also do is on this web part because we say recent policy updates i don't really need this here anymore so i can get the settings of the web part by clicking this pencil come all the way to the bottom and i can toggle off show title and commands and that cleans it up a little bit but in doing that we've got an issue here that we're chopping the top off everybody's head which is you know not going to be great so to fix that what you do is you select the section get the settings open and under more settings we have an option here to edit the focal point so if i click that we get this area in here 
And basically by moving this little fellow up here, it means it's always gonna prioritize the top half of our image, which is what we want. So position that to where you want, and we'll click save and save again. And now we have the top of the people, which is what we wanna focus on in this scenario, right here and ready to go. So that all looks pretty good. So we'll save as draft, just so we can see how we are. And already this is looking pretty cool. Now I know this mightn't be your style, but again, I'm just trying to give you examples. If you wanna get this blended effect of two images together as one, this is a good way to do it. So that's your top section there looking pretty cool. The next thing that we might do, and it's actually very handy, I use this actually quite a lot, is where we have this section in here, um, it's a flat color and that's determined by the team we've applied to the site. And it looks just a little bit muted in here for me, right? But it's the only option we really have. I mean, we can add in these fellas here, but they don't suit um, our site. So we can effectively make our own color swatches any way we want, okay? Um, and we could of course do that in Figma, but you know, for someone who doesn't have Figma, you can also do it in PowerPoint, right? Um, so what we'll do is I'll open a blank PowerPoint presentation, get rid of all of this nonsense in here. And what we'll do is we're gonna insert a rectangle, okay? So go to shapes, we're gonna select our square or rectangle. And basically this is just us creating another color swatch. So when we have this in here, you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna to go to format shape. And that's gonna give you these options over here. So what we'll do is we'll click the line drop down, and we're gonna say we don't want the line. And now for fill, to create something a bit more interesting, I'm gonna say gradient fill. I'm gonna change the type to radial. And I'm gonna remove some of these fellas by just dragging them off, okay? So now we have a simple gradient left to right. And now I'm just gonna change these colors. So you just select the color, okay? Whichever side you want to work with first, click the bucket drop down and go to more colors. And now you can type in the hex value of the different sides of the gradient that you want. So for me, I'm gonna set the first one as this color here, click okay. And then I'm gonna set the other one to this color here. And that gives me this nice strong gradient, okay? So then all you have to do, when you have your color swatch, it could just be a flat color or a gradient or basically anything you want, right? And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna say, save as picture. And I'm gonna call this gradient background two. So then you come back into your site and again, select this section here and we're gonna say add a background and we're gonna upload a gradient background too. Now it doesn't matter the size of the rectangle you created in PowerPoint, okay? That doesn't matter. You just want to basically create a block of color or gradient, whatever suits you. So select it, click upload, click add image and we get it in here like this and it looks it's a bit underwhelming, right? So more settings and then drop the opacity right down. And now because we have it as scale to fit, it's gonna basically stretch that color block um, as much as it needs to, to fill up the space. Now, a tip with this, right? When you put it in here, okay, if you chose this and the text color, the contrast wasn't right, you've got, you can basically have this text as black or as white. And the way to change that is by choosing the overlay color. So if we have the overlay color set to white, which we do at the moment, we'll get black text, okay? But we're not gonna see any of the gradient overlay because we've got it set to zero. But if I want this text to be white, what I do is I set this to black, okay? Now there's no noticeable change in the background because the opacity is zero, but we do get the ability to change the text. And then you can do things like, well, we could make this a heading, right? So we get the stronger bold color, bring it up to 56 or something like that. And this bit in here, what we'll do is we'll actually bring it up and bring it down. And we wanna change this, not from a heading, right? So this needs to be just normal text because we don't want that heavy, strong color, but we might increase the font size to 18. And then we can grab the whole lot of it, Command A or Control A and center it. And then we have something that looks and feels a lot nicer. So then what we want to do is we're gonna publish our page. And there we have it. We've taken that existing page and turned it into something a bit nicer and spicier. So a couple of tips there that I found really helped me with this, especially changing the text color on the backgrounds um, and having those layers kind of seamlessly come together really helps to build these pages out and make them a lot more engaging. Particularly when, you know, we go back to what we used to have available to us, which was something like this. We're now able to get a lot more more bold and a lot more engaging with something like this. And just for another quick example, if this style isn't to your liking, you can use this in a few other ways. So if we wanted to make this more of an outdoorsy team, again, we could just edit the page, come in here and we'll change the background. And this is where we can blend two separate images together and make it look like one scene. So I'm gonna say change background. So come to stock images and I might look for something that is say a mountain at night. Um, and I can come in here and I can pick any of these. We could say pick this image, for example. 
stick it in. And again, what we'll do is do our trick of the gradient of the bottom to top, increase that to 100. And then we can get rid of this fella because that doesn't really work anymore. So I'll select the image and I'll say browse images, stock images, and I might look for something like adventure. And we might pick this person who looks like they're staring off into the policies in the distance. And what we can do is something cool. We can select the image and we can come over to here to shape and pick something like pebble, which gives us this little nice effect. And then we can come down here, okay? Now this image doesn't work anymore, so we're gonna say change background. In stock images, we might look for something that's like a tent, and we might pick something like this image here. So we'll say insert. So now we've got these two scenes. We'll just change the way we have the background on this, where we will go with our overlay color, and we'll go top to bottom this time and increase that to 100. So we still have this black border between the both of them. And then to polish it off, we'll come down to this section because the pink is a little bit in your face now. And we'll go to background ideas and we might just choose one of the options we have in here, such as maybe this fella. And we can come to more settings, choose the black overlay and increase that till it blends a little nicer. And we'd have something like that. So then if we republish again, you've got this kind of nice effect where we've got a mountain range and then we've got a tent here and an adventurer here. So all the same principles and functionality, we're just changing the context. Final touch I might do just because I'm that kind of a person, I'll come to edit once more and I'm going to add a little space up here for this to breathe a little more. So we'll have that there and I might drag it back to say 32. I'll duplicate it and I'll bring it then below this section here and now I'll republish and now that fits a little nicer so there you have it so now that we have the ability to remove that page header and we have things like section backgrounds and custom images we can create some really really engaging page experiences you know stuff that we probably couldn't have even dreamt of doing six months ago within SharePoint which is a really big step forward so hopefully this video has served as a bit of inspiration or just you know bit of entertainment if nothing else um, if you did enjoy it or when you liked it please do hit the like button and subscribe i really appreciate it helps grow the channel and until next time see ya